and investing in our youth and celebrating International Day of the Girl. This weekend is a youth forum that's all about getting local kids involved and engaged in their community. Stormy Hogel and Lucy Harvick are here this afternoon so we can learn a little bit more. Thanks for being here today, ladies. Thanks for Appreciate having it. us. Absolutely. So you have a big event coming up at the library this weekend, right? What's happening? So we're hosting a youth forum in conjunction with you said as with International Day of the Girl where our theme is um, uh, girls' rights, our leadership, our well-being. Wonderful. And you're going to be on the panel, right? I am. So what does that mean? So we have a youth panel where a moderator is going to ask some of the girls questions mm -hmm. about human rights and civil par participation. Wonderful. And you'll get, to pro you'll get to provide some answers, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So how did each of you get involved in, in, this, in this whole effort? Sure, so I actually had an internship with Women of Toledo last mm -hmm. summer um, as a part of the University of Toledo. And then after my internship ended, I just stayed in contact with them. I really loved the work that they were doing and they asked me to come on as their youth representative for the board. Very good, and how old are you? I'm 12. 12, so what made you say, you know what, I'm, I wanna get involved and s speak for girls my age? Well, about a year ago, my mom um, she interviewed for Women of Toledo mm -hmm. and she told me about the Girls Hub program, which I was too young for then. Mm -hmm. But earlier this year I did it and I made my own chair and it was very fun and that's kind of my first involvement with Women of Toledo. Your little and dabbling, been, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so let's talk about the chair. Now this is, uh, what happened, okay, so this is one example of a chair that you can make through, what is it called again, Girls Hub? Girls, Girls Hub. Hub. So uh, tell me a little bit about this. What does it mean? What does it represent? So this was a chair made by one of the girls for Women of Toledo to keep. We have another one that one of our mentors, Anna, made to keep with us. Uh, this. Um, sorry, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Any girl over the age of 12, well, between 12 and 18, and 18 mm -hmm. to be more specific, but any girl can build their own chair and either take it home or choose to donate it. We've done a bunch of themes for the, for the alumni mm -hmm. who have returned. This year we had Glass City where they put glass into the back of their chairs. Oh, wow. Very cool. So uh, some creativity involved here too. Yes. So um, why do you think you know hosting this this event here this weekend is so important to have in our community? Yeah. Well, I think it's really important for youth to know that they can be involved in their city and that they can make. Um, changes through civic engagement and then learning their human rights and that their gender and that their age is nothing <laughs> that says anything about their capabilities to do so, right. but that they have those inherent rights that allow them to. Mm -hmm. And so when you're part of this panel, you know, is there a, a message that you want to make sure that you get out? No matter how old you are or if you're male or female or somewhere in between, mm -hmm. you can always do something to help out your community. You know, we, it's, all, it's our job, right, to make yeah. this place a better place, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, kind of describe how the day is going to go on Saturday, what people can expect when they come out. Sure. So we're going to have our youth panel of our fearless mm -hmm. builders. Um, the city is going to host a civic engagement and uh, human rights educational um, hour or so. We're going to have two performances from the youth orchestra um, and another singer towards the end. But we're also going to be announcing whether we're going to meet our uh, $25,000 goal for our day of giving as well. Well, let's hope that that's going to be a, a positive announcement. Uh, and now, when you worked on your chair, how did, how did you feel afterwards? You said, hey, I built this. I, I created this. Well, it was very fun to watch <laughs> each step of the process coming together to create my first big piece of art. Mm -hmm. I've done art in the past, but not on this scale. Um, it felt like I had really accomplished something. Yeah. It was very gratifying. And, and empowering, I yeah. imagine, right? So how would you encourage other women, other girls in the community to get involved? I mean, it's as simple as going on our website and signing mm -hmm. up for our Girls Hub program next year, but also going to these one-off events are really fun. You get to meet people your age and engage with um, our young women of Toledo who are mm -hmm. all really great. Yeah, what about you? How would you, why would you encourage girls to get involved? Well, for girls, Girls Hub is an amazing option. And for older ladies, mm -hmm. we have a November gala coming up. It's where we celebrate a bunch of different cultures and races, 
we have a fashion show, there's all sorts of delicious food. <laughs> it's a wonderful event that my mother is helping plan. Wonderful, and that's coming up in November, so yes. we'll have to have you all back here uh, to promote that as well. So uh, this is Saturday at uh, Main Library, mm -hmm. downtown Toledo, right? And uh, we are asking for people to register ahead of time for this, yes. right? Yes. at womenoftoledo.org. It's really simple. The link is on like the front of our website. Mm -hmm. And it's free to get in, but, uh, but I believe uh, the first Maybe 100? 100. 100 people get some free stuff, yeah? Mm -hmm. They some get freebies. a swag bag, swag bag of a bunch of cool like t-shirts, hoodies, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And women in Toledo in general, you know, how long now have you been involved? Um, about like two years. Okay, about and about what years. do you love so much about the organization? I would definitely say the staff. I mean, working there with my internship, that's who I was working with directly, but I can also see that their passion um, translates really clearly in the work that they do, and I appreciate that authenticity and transparency in the organization. Mm -hmm. And I've seen some things over the last few years too. It seems like there's momentum there and there's a lot of growth happening within Women For of sure. Toledo. So make plans to come out. Now, is this open? This is open to, to everybody, right? Yes. Free for all youth. Yeah. Yep. Free for all youth. Just make sure you register so you can maybe be one of those first 100 to get all that free stuff, right? Yeah. You want your swag. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thank, thank you for having us. It. Yes.